Let me welcome you to the 23rd Private Sector Hall of Fame Awards Banquet. And mine is a distinct privilege and pleasure to be the master of ceremonies for this evening's proceedings. You know, we want to, of course, recognize our inductee tonight is commitment to excellence. It was Vince Lombardi, the great U.S football coach who said the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence regardless of their field of endeavor and we want to celebrate and recognize Earl Jarrett's commitment to excellence come on let's put our hands together this is a gentleman who inspires passion trust and compassion. Ultimately, I personally view that as arising out of humility. And it's one of the most positive attributes that I, as I aspire to have. And I see that in, in Earl. William Penn said, sense shines with a double luster when it is set in humility. An able and yet humble man is a jewel worth a kingdom. William of Oud said, the road to greatness is paved with humility. <laughs> they thank the sponsors who made tonight possible. Jamaica National, Jerry and Nevio, Wasinko, City, and the Gleaner Company Media Limited. And also, personally thank the staff of the PSOJ who has worked tirelessly year after year to put on this great event. In 1992, the PSOJ staged the very first Private Sector Hall of Fame Awards. And I'm especially happy to be here tonight to welcome you all to our 23rd staging. The event is a highlight of the PSOJ's calendar, which gives us the perfect opportunity to recognize those amongst us in the business community who by their example demonstrate that industry and entrepreneurship are the key to economic and social development in this country. And you heard Earl is a family man, giving honor to his family. And being a family man, there must be harmony in the home, not just presence. And harmony with wife, child, children, dog and cat. You know, this gentleman didn't like his wife's cat. And he made up his mind he was going to get rid of the cat. He took the cat and drove 10 blocks down the road, put out the cat out the car. By the time he drove back into the house, there was a cat coming up the driveway. He got upset and he took the cat again, drove 30 blocks, put out the cat, came back home. By the time he was closing the door, there was a cat coming in. And he said, boy, this don't make sense. He took the cat and he drove tunnels, bridges, all sorts of places drove for an hour put out the cat after about an hour he called home and said honey to his wife is the cat there <laughs> and she said yes the cat is walking in now why he said listen put the puss on the phone i lost and i need directions distinguished ladies and gentlemen on this the 28th day of october 2015 the PSOJ is once again proud and privileged to induct into its Hall of Fame an extraordinary Jamaican businessman, a nationalist and patriot, a man with a heart for people and a true giant of business, Earl Wesley Adolph Jarrett. I remain optimistic about Jamaica. My optimism is grounded in the nature of the Jamaican people and their ability to be creative and industrious, as well as to surmount almost insurmountable odds. Again, I sincerely thank the PSOJ for this really very high honor, William. 
and I accept this award on behalf of my many colleagues at Jamaica National Building Society, our, our staff members, and we have, we have members of the staff here from the lowest level to the highest level. The boards of directors that are represented here, and we have many chairmen here, Kathy Moss, Betty and Jones, Paris Leo Ae, and the deputy chairman, Diru Tana. I must thank our partners who are here, people who support the Jamaica National Organization. And I must thank everyone who participated in making this evening a really enjoy enjoyable and memorable evening. And after this, I will proceed to go back below the radar. <laughs> thank you very much.